We had the high heat and now we're watching for the potential of thunderstorms as we go into tonight. Here is our peak heat index across the region. We were flirting with 100 degrees pretty much everywhere. Even the northwestern corner of the state into the Lehigh Valley was well into the 90s for our heat index. Now with those high heat indices, it is fueling the potential for severe weather. My thoughts have not changed though. We need to see the storm first. If we don't, Obviously, we're not having any severe weather, but if we do, then anything from wind damage to large hail, even tornadoes are in the realm of possibility. Let's take a look at our future cast for tonight. We're starting off at 8 o'clock. You notice this line of storms moving in from the north, and then we have more to our south. We might just squeeze out dry here in portions of the area, but what I will say is just keep in the back of your mind, thunderstorms will be at least around through about 2 a.m. And again, the potential for severe weather will be there too. For this evening, temperatures will slide through the 80s pretty slowly here. A couple of thunderstorms are possible. Otherwise, we'll be partly cloudy here. We'll have a west-southwesterly wind, and that west-southwesterly wind was kicking throughout the day today. For tonight, any thunderstorms will be around through 2 o'clock. Damaging winds in the realm of possibility. Amongst other factors, we can't rule out a tornado either. Low temperatures are balmy, about 5 to 7 degrees above average for this time of year. Then as we go into Friday, we're going to do it again. Thunderstorms trying to get in. They do look to come in here with our model here, but they are much weaker than where they were in Pennsylvania. We'll let this loop one more time. It tries to develop a line and then weakens it because this really shouldn't come until late, late in the day. But here's the thing. Even if they don't make it to the shore, some places, especially well inland, could see high amounts of rainfall totals. Anywhere in these purples and these pinks that we have are anywhere between an inch to an inch and a half of rain. But you'll have a mostly dry day for your Friday. Temperatures will be hot and it'll be humid yet again. We'll be in the low 90s over at the mainland, feeling close to 100 at the shore. A little more sea breeze relief than we did today. And that's because we have a more southwesterly component of the wind, which doesn't really push back that sea breeze as much as a westerly wind does. The shore should be dry at least through 7 o'clock. So if you are heading to the shores, whether it's on the Delaware Bay or it's along the Atlantic Ocean, you are treated to warm temperatures. Rip current risk remains low here and our seas remain low as well. So thunderstorms will be around from about 7 p.m. through about 5 a.m. all throughout the night on Friday night. Then we wait for Laura's remnants. It will be right passing through us here. We are in the cone of uncertainty. And as a result, as we go throughout the day on Saturday, especially after two o'clock, flash flooding, travel disruptions, even isolated tornadoes are all in the realm of possibility with this. And it will be a washout during the second half of the day. You do have dry time during the first half. Either way, though, it's going to be breezy out first from the south and west, then from the north and west. And that's why we have this great stretch for Sunday and Monday. This week, we had our one day special of comfortable air, but next week we'll have a two day special Sunday and Monday here. And as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, we are looking for a couple of more showers and thunderstorms, but no washouts as we go into our first couple of days of September. I will be off on Friday and won't be back until next Wednesday. So I hope you all have a great weekend, everybody, and a great beginning of the week. You can follow me on social media. I'll keep some content going there. And you can always come back to our website for the latest radar, tide gauges, and more at thepressofac.com slash weather.